Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Today's project is going to be how I finish my pens uh, using melamine lacquer and carnauba wax on this headwind pen that I got from Beaufort Ink recently. Hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you guys at the end. Okay, so let's talk equipment about what we're going to need. Uh, first of all, we're going to need our dust mask. Um, my dust extractor is quite loud, so I've got my headphones. We've got some sanding sealer. We've got our melamine lacquer some hard carnauba wax and a range of sanding discs ranging up from 240 up to 800 and we've also got a roll of kitchen towel and that's what we're going to use to apply all the various finishes okay so the, the blank has been turned this is turkish figured walnut and the pen kit we're using is the new headwind from uh, um, Beaufort Inc so it's been turned, but it's not been sanded at all yet, so it's not been prepped. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the lathe speed to 1000. You don't want it any more than that, because if you go any higher than that, what you'll end up doing is burning your sanding paper, and you'll just burnish the wood, you're not sanding it. So about 1000, and that's what we're going to keep it at, we're not going to adjust it after that. Sand that up to 800 grit and the last thing to do now is we're going to burnish that with some of the wood shavings from the wood from when we were turning and that's just going to polish that up a little bit more as well keeping the lathe at a thousand is still So next up is the sanding sealer and I've just got two pieces of kitchen towel that I've turned into little quarters, little squares and we're going to use one to apply and the other one to clean. So we're just going to tip it onto the thing, turn the lathe on. I'm just going to work that across the wood until it starts to grab a little bit there we go getting our clean piece we're going to turn the lathe back on now we're going to polish I'm going to keep changing it so that we've only got nice clean And that's it. Now I know some pen turners would use that as a finish in all, but we can get that to look a little bit nicer. So next up we're going to get our melamine lacquer. I used the chestnut one. And m some people will talk about giving it a little bit of a shake up before you use it. I don't, because I don't want to introduce too many air bubbles. So the act of turning this upside down is enough agitation. That's all you need. Turn your lathe on, a thousand again. I'm just going to work that in. Now it dries almost instantaneous, so that can be polished up now. Now that's the last time we're going to turn the lathe on until we come to do the carnauba wax. So that's the, the that's the part of the pad that I use first. So this is the second time I'm going to use it. And it's the clean area. I'm going to tilt some on, and I'm just going to wipe that into the onto the wood all the way around. I'm going to wait for a second for that to dry. And that's it. And then with the clean rag, we're just going to buff 
turning the lathe by hand as we go. And you can see that I'm changing the areas of the cotton towel when I'm buffing. So that's the first layer. We'll see if we can get a close up of that so we can show you the, the shine that's starting to develop and starting to come up now. come up lovely now the last one we're going to use is carnauba wax you use the solid one um, and make sure it's a good quality one I'm going to turn the lathe on we're going to keep it a thousand again and we're just going to make one pass nice and even across the surface of that blank clean piece of kitchen towel you do go through a bit of kitchen towel on these it's the only downside to this finishing now we're going to start the lathe up again and we're going to start working that it's a friction wax so it'll start to melt and you'll see it moving across the um the pen blank not sure if the camera will pick that up though and again every couple of passes i'm just changing where the towel contacts into the, the, the blank and what we're waiting for is we're going to keep working this until you can see that the wax is not moving anymore that's about it that's lovely and we'll give it one more coat And that's it, and we'll just give it one buff with the grain. How nicely that's catching the light. So if we're looking at our parts for our headwind pen, it's only a few pieces. There's the nib section, there's the refill, there's the mechanism, there's the cap top, and there's the clip. And of course we've got our spring and the only bits that we're going to press in is our nib section and our clip so we're going to take those two bits first okay for the assembly parts of the pen i use these two units one goes in the headstock one goes in the tailstock i got these from charnwood.net um two mt and this way i'll use the lathe as the uh, the pen press as opposed to spending a fortune on another press so one goes in in there and the other one goes in there. So to start off with, you get our nib section, we'll put that loosely into the end of our pen barrel. On the white section, there's a little divot in the middle where the nib will fit into, that'll center that. Lock your tail stuck into place and then loosen off your winder. And then we'll use that to press in our nib section. Back that out a little bit, get our clip, we'll look to see if there's anywhere on here that needs where the best place is. I think I'm going to go there, and again, we're just going to wind that on, and that's going to press that now firmly into place. Voila. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to refill in a spring, drop those in, we got our mechanism, and then we'll get our cap section and that just fits firmly over there. And that's it, get my mucky fingerprints off the pen. Oh, 
and that's ready for sale then. Hopefully we'll sell that on Saturday. Okay guys, that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something as well. Um, the pen has turned out really nice. I really like the feel of the of the Melamine lacquer as opposed to the CA, which is what I used to use. Um, it feels a lot more natural um, and it gives a lovely shine, um, but it does take a bit of practice and it is a bit of hard work. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed it guys. If you want to leave a comment down below, please feel free. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to like and sh subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye. Always appreciate a bit of feedback, uh, and that's rubbish again. What is wrong with me? Spider. And kits that I got from um, Bofa Dink. Hope you enjoy. That's rubbish, do that again. And it's just the one that works for me. There's a few videos out there now, and that's rubbish again. Christ, Andy. Spider. <laughs>